Hey guys, how's everyone today? Doing well. I'm having to force myself to finish this <laughs> because I'm a little afraid of it, to be honest with you. It's a lot of, um, it's a lot of figuring out. It's a lot of figuring out. Transfer is always kind of set me back on my heels a little bit anyway, just because they're, um, you know, you got one shot. <laughs> if you don't get it right the first time, chances are you're not going to be able to recover. Not always, but most of the time. So I'm just, hi, Mary. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Jolene and Gracie and Mary and Linda and Sam and Rena. Hi, you guys. Thanks for... <laughs> Thanks for the moral support. I'm going to need it. Um, full disclosure, I've spent the last hour out here laying this out. So I'm just, um, hi Marlene, I'm just, uh, I'm kind of paralyzed and you know I hate that place. So the only play, way to get unparalyzed is to move. So I'm going to move. And I'm going to, we're going to do this. And if it doesn't turn out amazing, then it's not the end of the world. Um, we got a beautiful result with the uh, Monaghan decoupage papers, which I think is the, is the reason that it's giving me um, anxiety because, uh, you know, I don't want to ruin my, my beautiful papers. But, um, hi, Debbie. <sighs> okay, there's only one way to do it, and that's to do it. So I'm going to see if I can't get a better situation for you guys here. Hold on. This is an oddly shaped project. You know, it's like big and long. Hi, Amy. Oh, good, Amy. I'm glad you're here. I need all the help I can get. I need all the support. You guys send me good vibes. Send me good vibes. I need... um. Uh, okay, so let's talk a little bit about my thought process as I was laying this out this morning. Here's the deal. You have to, it's almost like masking because things are going to lay behind each other, in front of each other, you know, so you have to, you have to think in those terms. So whatever you put down first, um, is going to, uh, obviously be in the background. So it's a little different from masking in that regard, because with masking, what you put down first shows in the forefront. <sighs> you guys. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to start. Okay. I'm just going to start. If I get quiet, it's because I'm, you know, this takes a lot of thought for me. This transfers are not my, my cozy place. Okay. So I cut everything out and I kind of laid it down. Um, this is, you're always playing with fire when you take these transfers off of this white backing stuff. It's not the, it's not the great, it's not a great thing to do, but in my mind, that's the only way I can see it. I've got to be able to see through this stuff, you know. Hi, Jill. Hi, Arlinda and Martha and Kathy. Uh, Rena, or Linda and Martha, Mar, thanks so much for being here, you guys. I'm literally sitting here wringing my hands. <laughs> okay. All right. Stop it. Stop. It's nothing to be afraid of. I tell you all that all the time. I'm just going to start. Okay. So we're just going to start. So I've set my, my pieces out the way I think they'll look the best. And now what I have to do is determine what's the very first piece I'm going to put down. And I think the very first piece I'm going to put down is this stem. I think that's the first piece that's going to go down. So I need to gently move the other little pieces out of the way. <clears throat> what I do is I take the tip of this, uh, because it's very sharp, and I'll just kind of get up under that piece of transfer. If you don't press on these without the white backing on them, 
I've never really had one stick where I didn't want it to. <laughs> Hope I didn't just jinx myself. That being said, um, you have to be super, super careful if you're going to work this way. It's always a risk. Always. So here's this big guy that I really don't want to move, but I kind of have to move. I wish I had another set of hands. I kind of have to move him to get to what's going on underneath here because I want this to layer. And I don't really want to move this because it's exactly where I want it. So what I think I might do is just bend it back and really tempt the gods. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you guys. Okay, so. Hmm. Huh. I got my thinking cap on you guys I'm trying to think of things that I could put here to hold that back so that will work on that I hope I hope I'm not asking for trouble I don't think I am it's not going to stick to anything I just don't really want to move it off of off where it's at because it's in the very very best place it can be hi Tracy um so now I know you can't see behind me so much right now now I'm going to kind of lift this second sunflower very carefully it seems like it sticks and if you pull up too fast it will stick very very gentle use a very very gentle hand with this okay so now I've got that sunflower out of the way I'm just going to actually support it with my fingers like this which is why you need more than one uh one set of hands. I'm taking this leaf off and I'm going to set it to the side and I'm going to commit to this stem. I've already started rubbing on the stem. I don't know if you can see it because it's behind my hands, but this is going to be a difficult thing to film while I get these initial pieces underway. Okay, I'm going to cut this piece off because I know that's I don't need that. So now I'm just rubbing, getting this to adhere. I don't want to move that piece too, too very much because it's in the best. So the way I do is I rub until I see, you can kind of see the transfer kind of separate from the, um, from the backing. It kind of it gets kind of opaque looking so you know that it's starting to stick so now I'm going to lift this and I don't know if you can see because we're way down here at the bottom but now I know that my transfer is adhered so now I'll just work like that and I'll pull oh this looks so pretty and I'll pull away as as it begins to release and then instead of instead of rubbing 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 you know if you pull away as you're rubbing you're not rubbing for for no for no reason you know what i mean because the stuff's already laid down so you don't have to rub it to death hi cheryl hi deborah and beth oh okay all right so <laughs> we're in we're committed i'm going to try to get this out of the way as much as I can to finish this stem. Once I finish this stem and get this first flower down, I'll breathe easier. Because that's kind of the, that's the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Really the basis for the whole design is these couple of pieces here that are going to be the anchor. That's the word I'm looking for, the anchor. Okay. Hi, Randy. Welcome. Welcome to, <laughs> welcome to the anxiety fest. I have a lot of anxiety over this, you guys. Okay. So there. Now this first stem is down. Now I'm going to let this lay back down and I'm going to check to see that everything's going to, because I want a little bit of overlap here because I think that looks very natural. So I want that. Hi, Janet. Um, I like what's going on up here, how it's going over my letters a little bit. I think that's pretty cool. Hi, Patricia and Angela. Thanks for 
Thanks for joining us. So I think I'm in a pretty good place. Now, I think, 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 okay? I, I'm always thinking when I'm working with... Um, I know I want a leaf here, but if I put a leaf on the outside, it's going to go over everything else, and it's not going to look right to my eye. So I'm going to put the leaf underneath and have the leaf come out from underneath. So obviously the leaf has to go down first. So I'm just seeing where, where a good place for the leaf is. I think that's a good place for the leaf. Okay, so I'm committed to that. I'm going to just pull this flower. I'm trying to get my hand out of the way. Hi, Sarah. Thanks for the support, girl. You better be creating something, Sarah. On here watching me, you should be off creating. Uh, I got a piece of something under here, you guys. That's not good. I don't know what it is. It's a little... Come on. Really? Really? Okay, there. I think I... It's just like a little ball of something that I can feel through the transfer. Oh, come on. I don't know. It's like a little piece of fuzz or something. Okay, so I'm going to hold this like that, and I'm going to commit to this leaf. Okay? Because I like the way it kind of comes out like this. Right? Hi, Sylvia. Hi, Dina. Okay, so now I'm just let's start here at the top with my. You guys, I could have done this a few days ago, but I literally, I literally could not. I couldn't get my head around it. It just seemed like such a ginormous commitment, um, and quite frankly, it had me kind of spooked. I was scared. I was scared to do it. So. I, th I woke up this morning and I thought, okay, you're always spouting <laughs> how, you know, you can't be paralyzed. You gotta, you gotta jump in there and do stuff. And then here I am paralyzed. So I was like, nope, you gotta take my own advice. I gotta just jump in. It's not the end of the world. It doesn't work. So here I am living my, living my words, you guys. All right. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Deborah. I got two Debras. Okay. I'm feeling a little bit, um, a little bit calmer right now, you guys. Now that now that I've started, and I'm committed, that paralyzation is gone because I'm in it now. I, there's there's no turning back, and so that's what I'm always spouting about, you guys. Is just start. Just start. If you, you can sit and be, I'm not lying to you guys. I've been paralyzed for two days about this project. I have not been able to get myself to start it because I was scared. And I thought, oh, that's just so silly. <laughs> it's stealing your joy. So here I am now creating and I'm happy. Okay. So now I feel good about what's going on. I've got my, I've got three, three pieces down what I consider to be kind of um, like my anchor pieces. So now I'm going to go ahead and rub down this big um, <laughs> Debbie. Debbie says it's going to be fine. Take a deep breath. Believe me, girl, I took a lot of deep breaths this morning. Thinking of every reason in the world why I shouldn't do this or why I could put it off till tomorrow. But nope, 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 nope. Because I can't encourage you all if I can't encourage myself, right? So, yeah, so here I am. And look, it's working. What was I afraid of? All right, so we're going to do this flower. I'll just kind of start at the top. And I have to tell you, I think it translates pretty well on camera, but these uh, this transfer on this blackboard paper is just beautiful. And the minute I saw this paper... I thought of these sunflowers because I love these sunflowers on black. 
I did a big sunflower on a black pumpkin in the fall and uh, I still have it out. I can't put it away. I love it so. So I really like sunflowers on black. I just want to kind of prop that up a little bit so I can. And the lovely thing about these transfers is they layer just so beautifully over each other. They're, um, they're dense enough that you can't really see what's underneath most of the time and uh so that's a really really good thing hi leah hi chris so look at me you guys conquering my fears <laughs> everybody gets scared everybody gets paralyzed it's you know I, I i shouldn't say that maybe everybody doesn't get paralyzed maybe paralyzed maybe somebody has like supreme confidence and this stuff never gets in their head <laughs> it gets in my head i'm not gonna lie but look at me now i conquered it and i'm moving forward and i'm feeling very optimistic about this i think it's going to turn out really really nice hi sandy hi liz and carrie and linda so it's not rocket science to do this and it's not even all that interesting to watch it but you guys are here and you're watching, so <laughs> it must be a little bit interesting. There's other things that we do together that are far more interesting than this. But I kind of wanted to share my, uh, <laughs> my paralyzation story. Yeah. Chris says, I must have missed the black. Did it sell out? Yeah, Chris, it did. It sold out within minutes of me uh, doing this decoupage the other day. So I'll order more because it is pretty. I can think of lots of, of course, you know, you guys know I love, uh, I love anything on black. I'm really a fan of black. Like a lot of my furniture is black. I really like black. I think it's kind of classic. So I'm just rubbing this down. I really want to get this piece out of the way so we can get on to the other big pieces. There's just no way through this except to do it. So that's what I'm doing. Oh, it looks so, so pretty on this black. I'm a big fan. Carrie says she gets paralyzed too. Yeah, it happens to the, it happens to the best of us, doesn't it? It's just yeah. And you know, I'm a huge proponent of just move, just move. Don't stay in that space, even if it's just a little thing. Just move. So that's exactly what I did this morning. I came out here and I sat down and I cut all these pieces out and I started putting them on the thing. And I thought I'm not going to attach these today, but. I can take them out and cut them and lay them down and see what it looks like, you know. And then and then as I started doing that, it started to feel a little better. And I thought, okay, well, yeah, okay, this, this, this is going to work. And then I got scared about actually rubbing it on to the, <laughs> to the project. And I thought, nope, I'm just going to do it. So here I am just doing it. Look, and the world didn't end. And I think it's going to be really good. So I'm super happy about it. Yeah. i got to take a break. Ah, okay. So we're good there now. And, and that looks amazing. Oh, my goodness, does that look pretty. I can't wait to take a picture of this. It's got this cool leaf coming down onto this black part, which I really wanted. I have a tiny little leaf that I want to go over here to fill some space. Um, so now I have to think about, hi Beth, I need to think about this large stem needs to go down next because it needs to go behind this flower. So I don't want to move my, I don't really want to move my leaves around too very much because I spent a lot of time agonizing over the layout of them. So I'm just going to kind of lay them off to the side a little bit. 
And then I think this leaf goes here. Yes, it does. So I'll set that over there. And then I just need to get under this flower a little bit. I'm going to tweak that just, just a bit. Just a, oh, come on, you. Hi, Liz. Hi, Marilyn. There, I'm just trying to lift that up because I want to angle this just a hair more. Very, very slow. If it seems like something's stuck, just take your time and go very, very slow and let them, let gravity kind of, okay, I think that looks good. I'm going to lift this. I'm going to go in here and begin to rub this stem. I can't tell you the number of projects I've done off of this one pad of uh, painterly florals. And I have a whole nother project that I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to redo some pictures that hang above my bed um, with the lavender. Kind of a an old to ooh -la, la project. You know, take something old and make it foofy. So that's something we'll be doing together in the near future. I have so many ideas, you guys. So many ideas. And what I need now is I need an employee because the business side of this has gotten has gotten bigger than I expected, let's put it that way. I'm so so very grateful. So grateful. But it takes away from creating, you know. I gotta, I gotta have my business hat on a lot now, which I didn't used to have to worry about. I, you know, but it's nice. It's fun, and it's people are, um, people are feeling encouraged and feeling creative, and that's the whole point. That is the whole point. Okay. Oh. Glad that's done. And and as as each piece goes down, I can feel my anxiety easing. Isn't that funny? The things we do to ourselves. But you know, I just I want it to be really good. I want it to turn out good. Because I invested a lot in the in the application of the of the um of the paper itself, you know, I got such a great result there. So, you know, I didn't want to mess it up. I'm going to scoot over and turn my heater down a little. Okay. Plus I needed to, <laughs> I needed to take a breather. Okay. So we've got our stem down. Now we're going to think about leaves. I'm going to cut that on an angle. That leaf's going to go there. And I work in odd numbers, so five leaves. I don't mind that that goes across there. I think that's fine. And I don't mind if I get some of that there. I think it's going to be good. Yes, and I kind of angled the stems so they're kind of like looking up to the to the sun you know the stem aren't just straight up and down which i i didn't think would look i thought they needed to have kind of a sway to them so okay feeling good about this so now we're going to do the big flowers so i'm going to get this out of the way i'm going to kind of move that back i think i'm completely happy with where the big flower is going to go. A little bit of overhang there. I have to lift it up and look at it, you guys. Hi, Donna. Hi, Andre Andrea. Uh, Oh, 
Okay, I'm lifting this up so I can look at it more. <laughs> of course, all the leaves are falling. The leaves are falling more from a bird's eye view. I think that's angled, not, not exactly the way I want it to be. So, I want it more like that, I think. I'm talking to myself, you guys. <laughs> All right, let me see. Yeah. Yes. That works for me. Although I think we could even come... That way. Yes. All right, that's it. That's it. I'm going in. I've committed. I have committed. So I'm just going to start at the top. should start at the bottom. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this around now because I should have started at the bottom. Because I like to lift my paper up so I see, um, so I can see, you know, where it's laid down so I don't, so I'm not just <laughs> rubbing for no reason. So here's what I do. I start it. And then I lift a little bit of this um, clear paper and I see that it's adhered. And then I just keep kind of make sure that it's down and I just kind of lift. Because I know if something's already down, I don't have to keep rubbing over it. When I first started doing transfers, I would rub and rub and rub. <laughs> and then like take the whole piece of paper off at once, you know, and miss some spots. And so this you're kind of like, um, you're seeing your progress as you go and you're not wasting time rubbing on things that quite frankly don't need to be rubbed on anymore. Just make sure you get all your edges down. This is going to be pretty. <sighs> I take a break. <laughs> this is almost like work, you guys. sure looks good on this paper I'll say that and the paper was kind of a um I'd seen Monaghan paper before but I'd never actually had any of it or worked on it or anything like that so it was kind of like a leap of faith but I had a feeling that um you know I'd seen other people do things with the papers and I thought well those look amazing and it turns out they are amazing. So after we get this big flower down, all we have to do is um, the leaves. And we're done. Can you believe it? <laughs> all that panic for nothing. Oh, you guys, look. It's just so darn pretty. It's just so, so pretty. And I know you can't see this, but I'm going to tell you something. There is just, uh, it's almost immeasurable, the little tiny, tiny bit of a halo you get around these transfers. I take the time on every single piece to go back and just go right over that little... It's like a little ghost almost, and they completely disappear, completely. So if you're not if you're not looking for that on your piece, look for it next time, and you'll see it. It's, it if it doesn't bother you, awesome. Don't worry about it. But um, I like to make it look like it's literally painted onto my surface. So I always make sure to go back and get those little. They're they're just they're they're so minute. 
but I guess now because I know they're there, I always go back and rub over them. Oh, hi Lucy. Hi Nancy. Nancy's here. Thank you, Nancy. I think it looks beautiful also. I'm very, very happy with it. I just love when, when a vision reveals itself, you know, in reality. Because I think about this stuff a lot, you guys. <laughs> this, is, this is all I think about. It's what I can do. How can I make that work? How can I make it look unique? How can I make it look different? How can, you know, I mean, there's just... And then, I'm not going to lie, I see somebody else do something, and it's like, I don't even care. I'm just straight up copying that, because it's just so beautiful. I want one for me. So... I do that too. So everybody does it. Everybody is inspired. And sometimes we just straight up copy. And you know what? If I straight up copy, I'll tell you. I'm, I, there's no shame in my game. <laughs> I'll tell you that I was inspired and I copied it from somebody else. Because that's what I've done. Oh. Hi, Gina. Gina just joined us. Gina missed all the anxiety <laughs> at the beginning of this. <laughs> I feel so much better, you guys. <laughs> feel so much better. So glad that I just jumped and did. This guy took some rubbing. It's a big, big sunflower. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Let me just look for a minute. Wow, is that ever something? That is just beautiful. Hi, Lori. Wow, so pretty with the with the uh, ink that I sprayed over here on the paper. Oh, it's just so so pretty. All right, so I'm turning it back around. Yes, I'm super happy. Okay, now we're gonna do a little leaf placement. This is the easy part. <laughs> This is the easy part. Okay, so I've got some space here I need to fill, which I can easily do. Hi, Catherine. Yeah, this looks really good, you guys. I'm most happy. I put a big, big leaf down here at the bottom so it could go off into, you know, and fill up some space there. I'm wondering if I should switch those. I think I will. Yeah. And then this leaf I'm just going to put here, kind of going that way. I felt like I had five leaves. I do. Here it is. Here it is. It's, all, it's here. Mm. I'm just thinking, you guys. Just thinking. As I look, as I look on the camera, like because I have my my face pad, face pad is that what it's called? No, <laughs> iPad. I have my iPad in front of me so I can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm just kind of looking and seeing how the how this design speaks to me. Kind of like that across there because that's some dimension that's pretty cool. And maybe I don't even add this little leaf. Maybe that's just it. What do you think? Maybe that's the, 
Maybe that's the leaf layout right there. I think. Move smaller leaf to other stem and add larger to smaller flower. Hmm. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like do. Liz thinks maybe this. Let's let's just oh <laughs> zing. Let's just see. So Liz says if I move. And that's what you kind of have to do. You kind of have to move things around. So she's saying to move the small leaf over here and move the large leaf. I'm not really feeling that. And, and maybe I'm not understanding her correctly, but maybe we'll put this guy down here and make a little bit of a smaller, yeah, a smaller situation up there. And maybe we'll make that come way at the very bottom. Maybe. Let me marinate on this in a minute. In nature, the bigger leaves are at the bottom, smaller as they go up the stem. Ah, Liz, you are correct, my dear. So this little leaf down here doesn't really make any sense, does it? Well, I have some more leaves over here, so let me cut out a couple more, and we'll see. Um, we'll see if we need to need to readjust our um, our design here. Here's two more leaves that are bigger. So I'll just cut these, and we'll see. And you can always cut leaves apart. You know, they don't have to stay in the the shape that they are. So if I had one that, here, let's do this one. If I had one that, <sighs> that doesn't make sense because <laughs> what's it coming off of? <laughs> I really wanted to put a B right there, but I don't have a B that works. So that's not going to happen. Like there's bees on the entomology, but they're dark and they won't show up there. And there's a there's a perfect bee in uh oh I can't think of the name of it right off the top of my head. Uh botanist journal. But there's only one. And I don't I I I mean a bee would be lovely there, but I think it kind of holds its own without it. So I'll save that bee for something else. Well, gosh, I don't know, you guys. Maybe. Ah, Donna, there is a dragonfly. <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned that. There is a dragonfly. And I actually, this is going longer than I thought it would, you guys. Um, and I actually got an entomology because I used up all my other one. So here, I'm going to open an entomology. So I actually got an entomology out because I knew there were dragonflies on this. And there are. And they're small, which is nice. So I'm going to cut a couple of them out. And we'll lay them there and we'll see. I'm not completely sold because I don't know if, I don't know if the, they're kind of, uh, they're kind of brownish with some blue in them and there's no blue on the piece. So I don't know. See, here they are. There, there they are. So I don't know, but, but let's see because we can, um, I could also put a butterfly there, you guys. There's, I got all kinds of butterflies, so. kinds of little butterflies. So let's do something like that. And 
I don't have to decide right this minute. I can marinate on it. I don't have to decide right this absolute second what I'm going to do. And that's always a good thing is not to, um, sometimes when I get on camera, I rush because, you know, I want to finish it with you guys. But sometimes the best thing to do is just to cool your jets. And so here's the dragonflies. Boy, you have a good eye, Debbie, that you saw those little butterflies on this paper over here because I didn't see them at first. So here's here's a couple of dragonflies, which, I don't know. My first instinct is, nah, I'm not loving it. So I don't think dragonflies are a thing. So... I'm concerned about this little situation down here. This seems like a lot of area that doesn't have anything going on. And I guess that's okay. I guess what we'll do is we'll attach these leaves. And then when we get down to this bottom situation, we'll just see. How's that sound? We'll just see what happens. I don't really like this leaf, though. I'm hoping I can switch it out for a different leaf, like maybe. Yes, I like that leaf better. I like that leaf better. So I'm just giving my camera time to catch up with me. Isn't See, isn't that leaf better? It's more, this wasn't the same kind of color tones as the rest. Yeah, I think I, yes, I think I can live with that. I think I can live with that. Thinking about layering that. Only because it looks so like boom, boom, boom. It, it looks a little too manufactured, if that's a thing. So maybe if I put a few little small situations in here to kind of break that up. I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking out loud, you guys. What about one large leaf laying across the stem into the open area? Like that? Mm hmm. Okay, I'm going to hold off on that because I'm not sure about it. I am sure about these other leaves, and I think I like this kind of layered situation right here because um, it kind of breaks up that, you know, perfect symmetry thing that, that you rarely see in nature. So. so I'm kind of adding like a little extra leaf there. What do you think of that? Yes, I think that's good. Oh, I oh, I see I see what Debbie's saying. Deb, go the other way. Hmm. Interesting. Let's just see. She's saying to do a leaf from here going this way. Mm -hmm. uh, that's something I'm going to play with and I'm going to thank you for the suggestion because I think that you're on to something. Um, I'm going to play with that idea. I'm not going to commit to it right now because I'm, I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared to do that right now. So what I'm, what I am going to do is layer some of these leaves in here and I want to kind of give it more of a layered kind of a look here. Uh, you guys, I'm indecisive again. You know, I do have to cut that off to have it mold right into the leaf. 
See, so I'm just kind of cutting these uh, points on a diagonal so they can lay right against the stem. So they look like they're coming right out of the stem. And it's just like a little tiny snip and then it lays right in there like it's actually growing out of there. At least to my eye. That's what I see. <laughs> That's what I tell myself. Okay. All right. I can live with that. I like this guy. This guy makes me happy. Put him here. You know what? Maybe there's just symmetry. And maybe that's just, it is what it is. I'm looking at some of the leaves here. Maybe that's just, yeah, I, I think that's it. I think that's what I'm going to go with, you guys. I think that's what I'm going to go with. Let me look for a second. Yep, that's what I'm going with. Okay, I'm going in. Let me tilt it just one second to see. Yep, that's it. I'm going in, you guys. I've spent more time on this than I should. And I'm getting to that place where I don't know what to do. When in doubt, move. That's my new motto. <laughs> when in doubt, move. come on you. There we go. There's one. I like the way these leaves come out onto the this paper over here. I think it looks cool. There's two. Oh, that looks really nice. I'm happy with that. Then we'll do like that looks good. Hi, Joanne. Okay. So here's the thing, you guys. I think I can share this. I don't think it's top secret. I don't know if um, how many of you follow Mara at Vintage Retail Therapy. I'm guessing probably a lot of you. Um, she has family that lives in Las Vegas. And she reached out to me and asked if I wanted to meet because she's going to be in town next week. So I think that's lovely. And I'm going to actually meet someone that is another stockist and I don't think I've ever met another stockist. I mean, I talk to them online, but I've never actually met one in person. So kind of excited about that. And because I'm a giant dork, I'll probably <laughs> take a picture and post it for you guys to see. <laughs> yeah, so I'm looking forward to that next week. Okay. Very, very nice. That one goes there. This one goes here. And guess what, you guys? We're done. We're done after we do that. I like the way this leaf crosses over this stem. That makes me happy. I'm going to put a little angle on this just because. Just to make it look a little bit more. Like it belongs. Yeah, that's really good. That makes me happy. Hi, Beth. Yeah, Barbara says that Mara shared uh, pictures of her new condo, which is literally a stone's throw from where I live. Mm 
when she was showing that, I knew exactly what she was talking about. I mean, it's, you know, several neighborhoods away, but what I'm saying is it's in the same uh, general vicinity of where I live. I live up um, close to the mountains, and uh, so I know exactly what she was talking about. <laughs> Sarah. Sarah says, hooray, two of her favorite people. What would be cool is if we could create together, but I don't think that's going to happen. But maybe at another time, because I know she comes here like once a month, but she's busy because she has family and stuff, and she visits with her mom a lot. And uh, But I don't know, maybe something to think about, something to put on the back burner and marinate on. All right, you guys, we're almost done. That's my last leaf. I'm going for it. I'm going to... <laughs> I need a glass of wine after this. Is it too early for wine? <laughs> okay. Let's just see what we got here. Boy, that looks pretty on camera, you guys. I can see it on my iPad. On my face pad. <laughs> what a dork. My iPad it looks really pretty. Things look different when you look at them on camera. That's like, I probably mention this to you guys all the time, but I'm going to mention it again because it's a thing. Um, I always take pictures of my work while I'm working because you'll see things in a picture that you will never see with your naked eye. And it's a super, super helpful thing to do. Well, there she is. She's done. I want to take a little piece of <laughs> Debbie. It's five o'clock somewhere. She says that's absolutely true. I can remember my grandfather saying that. I'm just taking and very gently just removing the those so I have a nice finish. Wowzer, that was worth every moment of stress. <laughs> that really turned out really pretty. I'm going to take and I'm going to burnish. Y'all know to do this, right? You're just going over every inch, making sure that it's down well. So that's what I'm doing here. I do want to mention that I did seal this piece on top of the decoupage. I sealed it with my uh, polyvine before I applied my transfers. The transfers like, um, they they work better on a piece that's been sealed. They like to, they stick better. Oh boy. I'm very happy with this, but <laughs> I'm really glad it's done. <laughs> I don't have to think about it anymore. Uh, now I can start obsessing over my next project, which you guys are going to flip over. Super cute. And I... <laughs> And I almost had myself talked into starting that project today and just acting like, oh, no, well, I'll get to the sunflower thing. You know, eventually it's like, oh, Victoria, you know, you won't. It'll sit there and mock you. Go finish it and then move on to your next project. So I had to have a stern talk with myself. <laughs> and I did the right thing. I made good choices. And now I'm just kind of looking. I can see some of the little little tiny halos just they're ever so slight but i like to knock out as many of them as i can boy did that turn out pretty i cannot wait to get a beautiful picture of this to post for you guys to look at i think that's it you guys i think we're done i don't know if you can get a better look at this or not it's just it's an odd shape so it's hard to get the whole thing in the frame maybe Maybe that. I don't know. There it is. Wow. That was a lot of, um, that was a lot of thought. It was a lot of planning. It was worth every second because I think we got a stunning result. I'm very, very happy with it. Those of you that got these two papers, if you're, um, if you're planning something similar, you know I want to see pictures. Definitely want to see pictures of that. Um, 
And, you know, I thought, but it was too late because I was already like off on a tangent. I had already decided what I was going to do. But I thought later, and maybe on another project I'll do this, what I would have liked to have done in retrospect is have torn this chalkboard paper. So I had a very rough edge here. That would have looked very cool. Not that this doesn't look cool, but just for future reference, I'm going to try to remember that because paper looks really great when it's torn because generally like the inside of it is a different color. Like I'm sure if I tore this paper, the inside of it would be white and that would have looked really cool there. Not, not that I'm mad that it looks like this because I'm not. I'm super happy. I think it turned out lovely. I'm very, very thrilled with this. So I'll give this a coat of, um, a coat of polyvine. Get everything all nice and sealed. And, uh, oh boy. Oh boy. I just love it. I'm going to have to move something in my kitchen to, to make room for this, but I think this is worth making room for because I'm super happy with it. So there you go. There's some transfer work. Um, it scares me and I've done it a lot. So if it scares you, that's, it's normal to be apprehensive about it. It's, there's a huge thought process that goes behind it. And at least there is for me, maybe not everybody feels that way, but I sure do. So take your time. Don't take too much time though. Don't let it, don't let it steal your joy and keep you from creating because Lisa says she loves the top where it looks like a shadow on the white paper. Like up here. Yeah, you know, that's that, um, that's that walnut ink that I sprayed on there. That was a good, that was a good idea. I thought, I wonder what would happen. So I had actually cut off a piece and, and I tried it on that. Remember I showed you and I sealed it to make sure the walnut ink wouldn't run and stuff. So yeah, I really like that I got this super aged situation here. I thought that was really, really pretty. Rose is asking me if polyvine is a varnish. Yes, my dear, it is. It's backwards, but this is it. They call it decorator's varnish now. They used to call it something different. I can't remember what they used to call it. I have an, an old bottle of it. They used to call it wax finish varnish. Now I guess they call it decorator's varnish. And I use the satin. So I love this stuff. And it goes a long way. It goes a long way. It, it, it seems expensive when you I get it on Amazon. It seems expensive, but it really goes a long way. A long, long way. Now I'm thinking about these darn dragonflies again, you guys. I'm just putting it on there so I can see it on the on the camera see if I like uh, you know what I think it takes away I really do I think it takes away I think the simplicity of this and I love that I still have like my words from the chalkboard and it's got the little swirly cues nope it's done it's a done deal all right you guys I'm gonna go um take some pictures and I'll post this for you and um is there a ladybug? You know, there, there are, there's lots of bugs in that entomology, and I am going to look through there and see what's what. But as, as I sit and I look at this and I get used to it, I think I'm really kind of digging the simplicity of it. Just, you know, a couple of huge sunflowers on some beautiful paper. And I, I think I'm just, hi, Rachel. I think I'm just kind of, I think I'm happy. I think I'm satisfied, <laughs> which rarely happens. So <laughs> I'm going to revel in that. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty the way it is. All right, you guys, thanks for holding my hand through this. Um, <laughs> boy, I seem really needy, huh? This seemed really needy. Well, it was. I was very needy through this. I was, yeah, it had me, had me on the ropes, but we conquered it. And thanks for being here with me and cheering me on. I appreciate that. All right, you guys. That's it for me. I'm going to go have a drink. <laughs> I'll talk to you all soon. I got another great project in the works. I can't wait to get on it. So I'll be starting that soon. I'll show you some pictures, okay? All right, you guys. 
take care. Um, enjoy the rest of your whatever day of the week this is. And happy creating. Bye.